Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 20th, 2020. Um, as you know, Congress is back in session today, but yet the, Senate, the House of Representatives is not going to be back to vote until Wednesday of this week. Congress's priority basically is the government funding bill, which expires on December 30th, if they can pass this, the government funding bill will be good until September of 30th of next year. Republican Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri he is a part of the Republican Senate leadership, and he was on CNN talking about stimulus with Dana Bash, who asked him about the state of stimulus. And, and in fact, you know what? I'll let him explain. I'll let him answer that question for you about the state of stimulus. I shall be right back. I have a short clip. The United States reached 2,000 deaths per day. Tens of millions of Americans are going hungry this Thanksgiving. Uh, unemployment benefits ran out months ago for some. Others, uh, the extensions will, will run out next month. Congress has failed, completely failed to do anything in recent months. So will you help struggling Americans before Congress adjourns this year? Well, I hope so. You know, I've been one of the major advocates that we need to do this. We need to do this now. We need to continue the funding uh, for the vaccine, the delivery of the vaccine. Uh, we need to stabilize, though, through that uh, uh, the uh, payroll protection effort uh, that worked so well. Uh, direct money uh, to struggling families would be helpful and some extension of unemployment. But the problem was that our friends on the other side of the building thought that it was $2.4 trillion or nothing, uh, half of that would have made a big difference. And then after the first of the year, we could have dealt with this again. I think it's a huge failure on the part of the Congress, and I'm disappointed by it. The president was prepared to sign almost any size bill. Uh, I think uh, they didn't want to give him that bill well, before the election, and now we can't seem to figure out how to give it to him after the election. Also, Dana asked Roy Blunt if there'd be a compromise and I'll let him answer that question for you, sir. Here's another clip. I'll be right back. But you think now there will be a compromise and people will get the help they need? Well, I don't know that there will. I'm certainly working hard to, to make that happen. And, you know, Admiral Girard talked earlier about what we've done with testing, what we've done with vaccines. We've really written two new big chapters in how to respond to a pandemic. Uh, something he said I think maybe wasn't quite noticed. He said that there was 70 million point of service test produced in October. There were another 70 million that were kind of overnight tests. That's more tests than Americans had taken the entire time up until October 1. So we've uh, had this great surge in availability of testing. Now we need to get people to take the test uh, and the vaccines are going to be available a year quicker than anybody anticipated. And hopefully people most impacted get those vaccines first then essential workers who come into contact with most people with with people get it second uh, and by then you're into late march and maybe 50 percent of the whole population that wanted to get a vaccine had access uh, to that vaccine and that's how we work through this a great effort on the part of the congress and the administration to write these two new chapters and how you respond to a pandemic And as we know, the House and the Senate have both returned from their vacation, but yet the House of Representatives will be leaving on their vacation the rest of the year in nine days. So we hope that they actually pass something very soon. The states are also suffering a severe budget issue with the transportation systems. Public transit is being hit hard as passenger riding them, passengers riding them are becoming very scarce. That goes for the, the um, basically buses, trains, subways. The passenger ridership has actually dropped by 43 or more percent for those uh, particular industries. And let's see here. The first dose of the Pfizer's vaccine arrived at Chicago's O'Hare Airport on Saturday, packed in 15,000 pounds of dry ice because it has to be stored at 94 de negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit to actually still make it good. Like I said, as we know, the House and Senate has returned back to work. 
today, basically. But in nine days, the house will go back on vacation for the rest of the year. Well, until the end of the year. Which will be the rest of the year, basically. <laughs> and the Senate will go on vacation in 14 days for the rest of the year as well. So we are hoping that they will both pass a stimulus package soon to help out the people. But most likely chances are that's probably not going to happen because they're more worried about the government funding bill and getting their paychecks. And at the end of the year, on December 31st, the extended unemployment benefits will expire as well as for 30 million Americans, the eviction protection will also be gone, as well as student loan payments will resume. The politicians, they might let these benefits expire while there are currently 26 million Americans that say that they cannot afford to put food on the tables for their families. So this is really nice for our politicians because they have food on the tables for their families, but yet the 26 million Americans out there that don't have it are now going to go hungrier because the politicians don't care. I do believe Nancy Pelosi keeps pushing off the whole stimulus package idea because she is waiting to see if the Democrats will gain control of the Senate so they can pass a $3.4 trillion stimulus package with the help of Joe Biden. This is just my, what I'm, saying. I'm guessing, I'm not sure, but this is what all the things are leading up to this present time. Whereas we also know uh, Republican uh, leader Mitch McConnell only wants to support a half a trillion dollar bill, in other words, $500 billion, which wouldn't really help out a whole lot. May help out a little, but not a whole lot. <sighs> this morning, the lower ranked politicians, both Republicans and Democrats, are trying to kickstart the stimulus negotiations, but are meeting oppositions because they are lower ranked and the, the upper ranked uh, Republicans and Democrats, such as their leaders, don't want to have nothing to do with that yet. Because Nancy Pelosi is standing firm at her revised Heroes Act at $2.4 trillion, where Mitch McConnell is like, yeah, you're not getting me above $500 billion. And regarding the COVID-19 news, in the United States, we reported 183,903 new cases with 826 fatalities on Sunday. This is my report for you guys for today. When I find more information that is relevant that you guys will find interesting, I'll be more than happy to rely it to you. Until then, you guys have an excellent day, and I will speak again to you tomorrow or Wednesday, hopefully tomorrow. And until then, like I said, you be safe because we're all in this together because that's all we have is each other, not the politicians. Until then, you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.